Welcome to the first part of our trip to St. Simon the Tanner Monastery in Muqattam, Cairo, Egypt. The story of this monastery begins with its great miracle which tells that during the reign of the Caliph al-Mu'izz, the Islamic ruler of Egypt, who was fond of literacy, gatherings, and inviting different religious leaders to debate in his presence, where Bob Abraham and a Jewish minister named Ibn Kilis present in one of those meetings. And the Pope got the upper hand in the debate, which made Ibn Kilis insisted on taking his revenge. Therefore, he quoted this verse, If you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. and showed it to the Caliph as he persuaded him to challenge the Pope to order the Muqattam mountain east of Cairo to move if he had a little faith as the small mustard seed. The Caliph saw it as an opportunity to remove the mountain that was spoiling his view. And at the same time, if Pope Abraham proved unable to do so, it would be the proof that the religion of Christians was wrong. So, the Caliph sent for the Pope and asked him if such a verse really existed. When Pope Ebrai affirmed that it was true, and Mu'ez challenged him to prove it, or else the Copts would be subjected to the sword. The Pope asked for three days respite, then he went directly to the hanging church, or al Ma'alla of St. Mary and sent for bishops and priests, exhorting them to fast and pray for the duration of those three days. Before the dawn of the third day, the Pope exhausted by grief and fell asleep, when the Virgin Mary came to him in a vision, saying that he would meet a one-eyed man carrying a sack of water. This is the man who would move the mountain. And in the early morning, Pope Abraham did as the Virgin Mary had told him and met Simon the Tanner, who told him about his life, his spiritualities, and the reason of losing his eye. When the Pope explained his purpose, Simon was reluctant at first, but when he was told of the Pope's vision, he placed himself at his disposal. Then St. Simon asked the Pope to toll the liturgy and to pray Kyrie or God has mercy for 400 times. On the next day, the Pope did as St. Simon had told him, and while making the sign of the cross during the prayer, a great earthquake swept over the mountain, 
and each time the people stood up to worship, the mountain was lifted upwards, and when they knelt down, it also came down with a big bang. This happened for three times, and every time the mountain moved upwards, the rays of the sun, which was behind it, swept through the space, separating the earth from the mountain and became clearly visible to the crowd at this awesome sight. Al Muaz was there and proclaimed God is great, turning to Pope Abraham saying, this is enough to prove that your faith is true. Naturally, this miraculous event caused a tumult among the crowd. And when Pope Abraham had looked for Simon, who had kept himself hidden behind the Pope throughout the prayers, he didn't find him because he has disappeared in order to protect himself from falling into the sin of vain glory. As he was never seen again, till his body was appeared in Egypt after a long time.